This is a typical website and uh, in this particular case it's driven by WordPress uh, behind the scenes. Now this basically is what the customer is going to see. So we've got the usual home page and as we click on things here, for instance if I want to go to um, this particular page here, you click on it and away you go. So, so this is basically the website um, as seen by the customer. Now if you look up here, this is the uh, UR, URL, the uh, web address and so in this particular case it's uh, www.photos2dvd.com.au Now in order to access the, the back end, if you like, the administration part you just simply make sure you've got the, um, the slash at the end, the forward slash and then you just type in wp-admin admin Oops. If we press return now this basically is showing us the um, the business end of WordPress. This basically is how you modify things. So at first glance it looks a little bit intimidating, um, but what we're looking at here when you first go to the um, the admin area is what's called the dashboard. So this basically gives you um, an idea of what's going on. In this case it, tells, it says I've got um, uh, 12 pages and you've got various other information here about the website and so on and so forth and down here we've got various menu options we can go and have a look at and um, if there are any updates we, we, it would show up on here and then we've got things called posts, media, links, pages, comments, appearance and so on and so forth. Now in many cases the, um, the most important thing is you want to create new pages uh, or maybe new posts and as we'll see in detail later on this couldn't be easier so as I say we're in the dashboard now if I go and click on where it says pages this basically gives me a list of all the pages I've got on the website um, if there were lots more than this there might be a little uh, navigation system up here to show me more pages you know the next uh, screen's worth of pages and basically these are all the pages in the website at the moment so for instance if I wanted to look at uh, this one here which is um, titled uh, sample scans from photos to DVD I would just simply click on that and basically this would show me the information in that particular page now if I want to I can uh, preview this page simply by going over here to where it says preview changes and if you notice up the top here what this has done is it's um, created a new tab this is where we were originally if I click on here and this second tab opens up to basically show me what the customer is going to see so as we'll see with uh, this and many other themes the bit across the top and the menu system and this bit down the side here and this bit down the bottom that is common to all the pages so if I go back to the editing area here this bit here where it talks about real scans from photos and you've got those two little pictures down there that basically is what I can uh, change if we go back and look at this basically this is the air, whoops, this is the area we're talking about here it's the the body or the important bit of this particular page that's the bit that changes on every single page so as you can see we've got um, two pictures and we've got form underneath in this case and um, we've also got um, some text and some formatting in there so just very very quickly to introduce the idea let's say I just wanted to change this um, to something very simple we'll just call it some real scans from photos if I just simply clicked on update here and if we go and preview those changes and then go and look at those as you can see it now says um, some, well, I misspelled it, but never mind. It says some real scans, some photos. As to how you change this bit and other bits, don't worry about that for the time being. We're just talking about the, the bit that changes on every page. And as I say, we'll do this in more detail later. This is just sort of very quickly showing you that, um, you know, you can make changes. If I suddenly realize, ah, oh, that was a mistake, I can always go back and say, oh, actually, I meant the word some, S O M E. If I update this, or rather if I just go and look at the changes, preview the changes, there you are. I still made a mistake. Let's go back there. So you get the idea. We can make changes as we want.
preview those changes. And there we go. We'll click here to go back to the uh, edi editing uh, page. And if you have a quick look down these uh, other things here, you'll see that we've got uh, an item called posts. Now at the moment I've only got one draft post. We'll, uh, we'll see the difference in detail between posts and pages later on. But as you can see, if I wanted a, a new post, I just simply click on where it says add new and off you go. Incidentally with the pages, if I click on pages again, if I wanted to create a new page, I would just click on this, then go to uh, add new. Or there's various other ways you can do it, but this is as good a way as any. And uh, if we just quickly go down these other things here, you'll see there's things like uh, an item for controlling comments. Uh, there's a bit here that allows you to control the appearance of the, the screen. So, for instance, we can change the themes, what are called widgets, the menus. Um, we can have settings that are um, specific to the particular theme that I'm using. And we've got an editor in there if you want to do uh, more complicated um, editing in the, in the code. Um, you have these things called plugins. If I click on that, one of the great things about WordPress is that you have WordPress out the box, which is free, uh, but fairly limited. And then you have all of these uh, add-ons you can have called plugins. So for instance, I have in this case a plugin called Backup. This will auto automatically back up my data, say once a month or once a week or even once a day, depending on how I want it. And there's various other things. So for instance, there's what's called a contact form plugin. So that allows me to create contact forms within my pages. Um, we've got various other things here, things called site maps. And this one here, which we'll see in detail, much, de much more detail later on, is um, WordPress SEO. What that does, it allows me to um, very easily apply SEO techniques to each and every page or post that I create. So I'd say, you know, just bear in mind this is just a quick overview of what the thing looks like and we'll see in detail how to apply some of these things in a while. We've got users, so you can apply um, you know, different users if you want to. In most cases it'll just be you. Um, you've got tools here which um, um, are fairly advanced in some ways. So for instance you can import and export data. Uh, you've got settings down here. Uh, the settings allow you to change things. Um, so for instance you could um, change sort of general settings. So if I click on where it says general um, I could change things like for instance the, the time zone that we're using, things like that. I could change the date format and uh, similar, similar things here. Um, I could also give it um, a title and a tagline. Um, again we'll see more on these uh, later on. But uh, the important thing to realize is that basically you've got these two different elements to WordPress. You get what the customer sees and then you get your administration section over here. Um, sometimes this is referred to as a, a CMS, a content management system. And if you've never seen this before, you probably think, oh my God, it looks really complicated. But actually it's not that difficult to use. It, uh, it looks a little bit strange at first if you've never used it before, but um, the whole point of WordPress is being written for people to use without any technical knowledge whatsoever. And uh, once you get the hang of it, you'll find it's very, very easy to use because the majority of times what you're going to be doing, you'll be doing um, maybe creating new pages or new posts or making slight changes as we, as we just saw there to existing pages or posts. And uh, as I say, a lot of these things you probably don't even have to worry about things like um, permalinks if you're not entirely sure what that means. Um, you have no need to go there. Um, again, some of these other plugins and what have you, again, if you're not quite sure what they mean, uh, you don't have to worry about them, but if you want to go into more detail, then it's there and you can do that. So that basically wraps up our first look at kind of an overview of the, the dashboard, um, the admin system behind WordPress.